Okay guys, ribeye and eggs. This is like the easiest keto recipe in the world. There's a lot of people that this becomes a staple. So af if after the four weeks of keto, you decide to like, hey, I love this. I wanna stay keto a little bit longer before going back into carbs. This will probably be a staple for you. So it's so easy. See this nice like marbling of the meat. It's nice and fatty. That's what you want. This is a grass fed ribeye. And I'll be honest, when I was at the store, I kind of compared the ribeyes that were grass fed to the traditional and the grass fed just looks so much better. So if you can afford it, please try to get grass fed animals, pasture raised animals. They're not sick. They're not fed garbage and corn and get big chunks of like sick meat pulled out of them. I mean, that really happens, right? So eat animals that are healthy, especially when you're keto because you're eating a lot of the fat and fat is where like toxins are stored in our bodies and animals bodies. So if you're keto and you're eating a lot of sick, fatty meat, that's not gonna be good for you even on a cellular level. So really make an effort to try to get the pasture raised, grass fed stuff if you can. If not, it's okay, you're not gonna die. You have detox systems in your body, but just do the best that you can. Um, so this is really simple. I like for this, I really love like kosher salt, a little more coarse, bigger salt. Um, this one's from Redmond. I always use theirs because they have the minerals in it. So you just pour that on there and um, you can use regular salt if you need it. And then we'll just cook some eggs up in butter and it's like the fastest, easiest dinner ever and it is so good.